Hello, my name is Rick. Welcome back to Real Repairs for Real Customers. In any business, it's good to consult with others, to collaborate with other techs, to expand our knowledge and uh, look at things from their perspective. Uh, recently, uh, as an example, I wanted to shoot a picture of the lunar eclipse and I know basically nothing about photography, but I did get some help on the camera settings. So I had one night to practice and then the next night was the real thing. I didn't get professional results, but at least I was able to uh, capture some keepsake uh, photographs. Uh, back to the repair business. Uh, my friend Gary from Michigan and I were discussing foam steering wheels. And I said to Gary, well, you know, you can reconstitute the foam using acetone. He said, well, you know, Rick, you can regrain those steering wheels using a heat gun and a graining pad. And so there we had it, the marriage of two ideas. Would you like to see how that works? Well, come on then, let's go to work. This steering wheel damage is very typical of what we'd expect in a Honda Civic. And what we're gonna do here is use the acetone and the gray scuff pad. The acetone will actually melt this foam and reconstitute it and the pad is abrasive enough to move it around a bit. When it gets too dry, get some more acetone and get that contour to your liking. And then after that, uh, take a paper towel with acetone and just smooth out the surface a little bit finer. So, there we go. Now it's time to imprint the grain in it. Now this requires full heat. But if you'd like to, and what we're going to show here is on the first go, you might try using a milder heat and grain that and just see how everything behaves under that heat. So it did okay, but we want better graining. So we'll put more heat as expected, but at least we know and we understand now how everything is cooperating together. So quite typically you're going to heat it until the foam gets melted, it gets shiny and even blistered up is okay. The thing is, the more liquefied the foam, the better the grain impression. As you notice, I'm using two layers of graining pad. One is thin, that's the one with the correct grain. And then there's a thicker backup so that I don't leave finger impressions. Also, the thicker pad protects your fingers from the intense heat there. Now, in my opinion, a grain pad should be large so that the edges can float freely without affecting the surface. Also, I'd suggest making your own grain pads so that the edges remain rounded. The purchased grain pads are often cut square to look nice, but the sharp edges will leave lines in your work. If you'll notice, I'm applying pressure with the palm of my hand and then my fingers are wrapping around the cooler portions so that I don't leave an imprint. So this is working quite well, working as expected.
And as we finish up this end, uh, we're going to go back to where we began and we're going to regrain that part and then uh, blend it out toward the end of that line of damage. As we do this, you'll notice how the areas that we smoothed out actually heat and grain better than the original surface. It is worth mentioning that you need to be very careful using acetone. It's a hot solvent and can ruin the surface of almost any plastic. So be sure to cover the dash, the console, the seat, and the carpet. This, of course, is not extra work if you've already adopted a culture of cleanness and safety. So now, after wiping it clean, we can go ahead and wipe some color on and that will help to reveal our progress as well. And I found one spot that I would like to touch up just a little bit. So now we're good to go. And sometimes on a black steering wheel, especially one where the color is black throughout, you can get by with just wiping the color in the repair area. And that's all that was needed on this particular steering wheel. So before we leave, we're going to touch up this little spot here. And now we're done.